hello good morning so it is 9 25 i woke up i think around like eight o'clock but i just spent time in my bed on tiktok for a while and looking at notifications and stuff like that and then i got up and i have so far had some spotting this morning which is great because if my period starts full-fledged i get to call the ivf clinic and they'll probably bring me in for my baseline ultrasound and then i will most likely get my date for my frozen transfer which i'm really excited about because it should only be in like two or three weeks really excited about that glad that that's showing up so that way i don't feel like i have any problems or anything I am about to make myself a cup of coffee, but my um, friend got me this actually for my, well, it was for Christmas actually, and I have not used it yet. It's this reusable silicone liner for your Nespresso pod, so that way you can actually reuse them and fill them with your own coffee. And with these, which I think you put these on the Nespresso pod. So I gotta read the directions quick and then I'll show you how it works. So I think we're gonna try it with this new Diablo coffee that I got. This is the uh, scale from Bottomless. And so when my coffee, like I'll use some and then you put it back on the scale and it knows that you've used some of your coffee, like there's an app and everything. And so when my coffee is empty, then they'll send you a new bag and you can like change your choices. Like this is the first time I'm having this Diablo one. So we're gonna open this and we're gonna see how this works with this. I talked about it in uh, one of my previous videos, but I do have a link down below. Um, if you wanna try out Bottomless, which is like the company that ships you the coffee, but there's a whole bunch of different coffees to pick from. You can get your first like actual bag for a dollar um, using my link down below. And then, I mean, you don't have to, you can cancel, you can do whatever you want. Um, but I've actually been really enjoying it. So it looks as if, you take a night, like you take a used, like this is a used Nespresso capsule and this is the coffee one because I figured I'll make a cup of coffee. And you take a knife so that way you can take off this um, aluminum like cover that like is punctured by the machine. You take off the aluminum and like this is the coffee and so, oops, we're gonna dump this out. This is used coffee by the way, this is a used, uh, Pod. and you would wash it then it says to put your coffee in the capsule but it said don't pack it in or anything just like lightly put it in here until you reach the rim fill the capsule using a teaspoon as shown being careful not to go over the rim of the capsule yep i didn't in the event that, okay insert the silicone cap into the capsule is shown in figure three. But which way does it go? This way? So I guess it goes like this. <sighs> oh my gosh, did you hear how loud that was? Oh man. That was, um, wow, we haven't had a jet fly over. Oh. Let's see if we can see them. Oh, yep. It's over there. Wow. I'm literally goosebumps because I was like, am I dying right now? So we're gonna put this in here like that. Should we do a clear cup? Yeah, let's see what it looks like in a clear cup. Okay. And it's gonna know how much water because I should have showed you guys, but It'll know how much water because the barcode is underneath the capsule and we just took off this aluminum uh, part. So it still knows that this is a coffee sized pod. Okay, looks a little light. Ooh, look at that. That looks really nice. Okay, so this is after it finished. It looks a little on the light side, like it doesn't look as dark coffee, but maybe I should have put more coffee in. Let's let's put some cream and see what it tastes like. It looks really light to me actually. So I think I might have not put enough coffee in. 
It kind of just tastes like coffee water. I need to get myself together. It is 11.46. I did edit my video already for yesterday and that's up, ready to go. So the rest of the day I do have time to like get all my stuff done. I was going to try and fast all day long, but I think I'm going to eat just a like protein snack. So I have these uh, smoked kipper snacks, which are really good. You can get them at like Walmart. Um, they have a really smoky flavor. And then I also have a can of sardines. <laughs> Which I know everyone's probably like disgusted with me right now, but I'm definitely gonna open the kipper snacks and then we'll see if I'm hungry for the sardines or not um, But I'm just trying to kind of eat like just high protein for today um, So that way I'm satiated But also so that way all of my belly bloat from eating carbs can just go down and I won't feel like disgusting did get this book in the mail just now this is the 30-day ketogenic cleanse um, it is dairy free um, and I do like books from this author she's the one that wrote like the keto favorites that I showed you from the library um, but I'm probably going to look through this and maybe build my meal plan from this she actually might have a meal plan in here but I don't know if I want to like follow it exactly or if I just want to like grab some recipes from here I do love dairy but Sometimes when I like when we're trying to lose weight um, if we eat too much dairy like on keto Then it can just be like so calorie dense um, and not really have like the nutrition that you need And so I think I want to I actually used to be like dairy free Well, I was paleo for a while and I was really skinny back then because I lost all my weight from paleo and then um, we were dairy free keto for a while and we just focused on whole foods so like I am not the type of person It's weird how he just like will randomly like pick it up out of nowhere. But I was gonna say, I'm not the type of keto person where like, if it says keto on it, then I'm going to eat it. Or if it's like keto ice cream and keto cookies and all that stuff, like the keto crate box that you saw me get, like that is pretty much the only time we ever have snacks. Um, most of the time it's like protein, vegetables, healthy fats. Um, this is what the smoked herring looks like. So it's literally just like a filet. After I eat this, I need to watch the premiere. As soon as the premiere is done, I am going to pump up my bike tires, figure out how to put the bike seat together, and that is my next project. After I get the bike done, then I actually wanna clean out my pool. I need to blow it up a little bit more. I'm going to refill it with fresh water, so that way, like, when Remy is here, we have, like, fresh water. When I'm out and about, I might see if I can get, like, a butterfly net um, so that way it's easy to like clear bugs from it because I don't really want to spend the money on like a cover Thought maybe like just a cheap net of some sort would work to like clear out bugs And I need to go upstairs and make sure the rooms are good for my sister They're coming tomorrow and I did get some of the blind dates. I got a big shipment of blind dates for my Patreon which if you're looking for my patreon link I'm actually switching over to a website called coffee and I have everything set up and you can join the link is down below but I'm gonna have to switch my wording to my coffee page instead of my Patreon page because Patreon just has way too many platform fees. So they were taking a lot of the money from me. So I switched over, but I have new tiers coming out in July. You can look at those over on my coffee page, the links below and blind date options are available. This whole story is about how I ordered my blind dates for June so I could ship them out and like 10 of them came damaged. So. I had to reorder those 10, like get a refund for the ones that were damaged. But I am going to try and work on maybe wrapping them today. The bookmarks should be coming very soon also. And so I kind of like to get all of that done within like a one to two day span. So that way I don't have to do it like every day. And then once I get all of that done is when I'll sit down and figure out the meal situation and like what I need to get for Remy. I might have to do a pickup order like maybe late tonight if I don't feel like actually going to the store. Okay, just got done watching the premiere. I'm gonna come outside and um, see if I can build the seat that it goes on the bike. I need to go grab my bike and grab the pump to pump up my tires and stuff too.
finished the bike. I just have it now here with a cover over top of it. So that way it doesn't like get wet or like too sunny. Um, there is a storm coming it looks like. And I actually um, was kind of like fixing the pool. I blew up a little bit more air and I'm refilling it with some new water. So that way it's not water that like was just sitting there for like a week before Remy gets in it. Do you still have to though get a um, net of some sort so that way I can like clean out the bugs and stuff and then I just brought this table from where my swing was so that way when I do sit out here because I was actually thinking of coming out but I might have to wait for the storm to leave um I was gonna like actually sit down and try it but I'm cleaning this off because it was dirty from just being outside in general I mean it's an outside table but it just always gets dirty okay it's all clean now I'm just gonna let it keep filling up and We'll see what this storm does to see if I'm gonna get in the pool or not. It is really hot outside though. Like building the bike was a huge workout because of it being just so hot. Okay, I think next, I guess I'll build lamp maybe cause I kind of already pulled it out and made a big styrofoam mess over here. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that next. because it had a lot of stuff in it that we're actually giving to my younger brother um, for when he moves into his first place. Um, I do need to bring up the vacuum. There's like some bugs and stuff, but all of my nursery stuff that I'm like obviously waiting for until I get pregnant and I can like actually set up and decorate the room, I just have over here. It's not very much. It's like a bunch of pregnancy books um, from my sisters and then some kids books, a little bit of kids toys. This is um, a stuffed animal pug that we bought when we first got pregnant five years ago. And more books. I have a quilt my mom made for if it's a girl. Some empty pots that all fill with plants once I have the nursery set up. And then a car seat and a snuggle me from my sister and a mirror and some shelves that I'm like waiting obviously to hang up. And then the stuff I pulled out is an old entertainment center that we're giving to my sister. And then table and chairs for my brother, a lamp for my brother, um, all my exercise stuff because I used to exercise like in this room um, I'm actually gonna put it downstairs and we do have a coffee table that is kind of too big for our sofa right now but we're actually gonna be giving our sofa also to my brother and we're getting a new um, like the kind of not dark brown but like the camel colored like fake leather sofas and we want it to get a little bit larger for when we have kids so we're like on the look for one of those the robot vacuum is probably full it's yelling at me so I'm gonna go um, undo that and then I think I might Swiffer really quick downstairs because it just kind of got really dirty with me going in and out and like building all the stuff so I have been sitting here just like looking through this book um, but it is so dark outside because there is a huge storm coming now like that other storm was just something that like easy easily passed by and now there's a big boy coming
I was looking through that um, keto book and I am gonna keep it. I actually really like it. Um, and I do wanna follow the meal plan for it since I think it'll be really helpful for like to get me back on track and to get me like back when I used to do keto because looking back at photos, I thought I was fat back then and I was actually really skinny. So I thought keto like wasn't working for me, but it actually was if you think about it. I really want to watch this storm, so I think I'm going to go grab the book and um, I'm going to grab my uh, phone and bullet journal so I can figure out um, what I'm going to be making for this week. And also when we go to the beach, I think I'm going to stay mostly keto for the beach as well, which I've done before actually. And it wasn't that hard because, I mean, we cook a lot. We have a kitchen in the place that we stay at and then we usually only go out to eat like two or three times we usually do get pizza the one night which is fine like i think i can totally just do a cheat for that day and we do usually get ice cream at a place one day but then even if we go out to eat somewhere else like i probably could just get a bunch of like seafood and like veggies and stuff also i don't know if you guys knew but last uh summer i set up this snack area for my uh postman i keep like bags of chips and like granola bars and stuff and then in here i keep um well some gatorade but i have water coke zero and some iced coffee and so i usually keep this cold and stocked every day but that reminds me that i need to order some gatorade for um walmart or from walmart i just i love the look of this storm do you see this like one big cloud right here oh my gosh that's pretty scary almost upon us like i feel like once that cloud comes then the storm is gonna start it's like and that cloud's actually real close oh there's a little birdie in our birdhouse or not our birdhouse, our bird feeder. Ooh, it looks green. It looks green over there. I feel, ooh, I feel like maybe I should start going inside or maybe I shouldn't have brought my books out here because I'm gonna have to run inside real quick. Here it comes. Ooh. I feel like I should probably go in now. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm living in danger? At least let me bring my books in. Uh oh. That's all of our lights. That's not good. My power's out. Alright, bring this in. Bring the snack. Well, my power is officially out, like everything is off. Um, I'm just gonna stand by the door here and watch a little bit. Looks like, even though it doesn't look dark over there, it is like really green and really murky. And usually that's a bad sign. That means like tornado weather. And look at my swing, my poor little swing. Oh man, look at the trees. Oh, my bike, uh, yeah, it literally moved my whole bike. Well, maybe it'll just fall over. Woo, oh my gosh. Look at this tree, look at all the trees. I think we're just gonna let it be really windy and rainy for now. Hopefully our electric comes back on because it's, it probably doesn't look really dark in here to you, but it is really dark. My stove and microwave, totally off. Hopefully it doesn't take long for it to come back on. My pool's about to get real full. Okay, I'm safe from the storm, um, but <laughs> I still have no, that's, that, those, those are battery operated. Um, I still have no power. But I'm also hungry for a snack because I was sitting here like trying to make my meal plan and I was like, hmm, I'm actually really hungry. I probably should eat something. I am going to make, well, kind of make, I don't think I have all of the ingredients for this, but I do still have some cucumbers and onions. And this is a Thai cucumber salad. So I'm just gonna like chop up a bunch of stuff and um, 
eat it. All right, and then I don't have um, cilantro or mint, but it says to do avocado oil or olive oil. I think I'm gonna do olive oil. And then lime juice, rice vinegar and fish sauce. There's a little bit of sweetener. I'm gonna use monk fruit, I think. And I'm gonna do garlic powder and some red pepper flakes. I think a little bit of white pepper would be good. Let's stir it up. Probably need salt. Let's try it. Mm, that's delicious. It does have a lot of juice. And it is very um, vinegary, so maybe less lime juice and vinegar. It said it had like a bunch of tablespoons, but very good, I'm gonna eat this while I meal plan. It is um, 7.39 and my power is still not on. It has been off since 4.30 and obviously there's no storm anymore. It is nice and bright and sunny. Um, I've just been meal planning and getting a grocery list together. Um, I just put in a pickup order for tomorrow morning between nine and 10 um, because my plan is wake up, go grab that order, come home, um, put together, well, I guess get ready and then put together the cheese board. Lena should be here by 11 o'clock um, and we're going to leave, go to a winery. Um, we're meeting up with Jesse and Kat who both have channels so I can talk about all of that tomorrow. We're going to drink at the winery and eat the cheese board and then um, I think that it closes at like five so we'll probably stay there I would think until around five. And then um, we're gonna come home and my sister and her husband and Remy will already be here. And so then I'm going to kind of like get acquired with like what Remy needs to do or how he goes to sleep and get all his things set up here. But I've been meal planning just for, cause we are only here for a few more days before we go to the beach. So I wanted to get um, some things so that way Remy had things to eat. I'm getting him like bananas and string cheese, yogurt, cottage cheese, strawberries. He likes breakfast sausage. And you'll probably see the meals that he's gonna eat while he's here because obviously. And then for us for dinners, um, I'm just going to mostly have him eat our dinners with like a little bit of difference. I meal planned to do a teriyaki salmon that's in this keto restaurant favorites. And for us, I'm just gonna put like broccoli with it. And then for him, I'm also going to make like mashed potatoes for it. He did hurt his like lips and teeth. He keeps falling and like busting open his lip. So all of his foods are going to be like soft foods or like as soft as possible. And then I'm also going to make meatballs, which again, is from this book. I'm just gonna use like a Rowell's marinara sauce because we really like the Rowell's sauce. And then with that, we'll have um, cabbage noodles for us. So it's literally just like shredded cabbage cooked. And I'm going to do um, roasted carrots for him. And I'm just gonna cook some pasta and do pesto. I have like pre-made pesto. And then for another meal, cause I'm not sure exactly how many meals he's here for, but for another meal, I'm going to make these soft tortillas that are also in this book. I pretty much meal planned actually all from this book and I'm getting a pork butt. So I figured I could just like slow cook or Instapot a pork butt and we can just have like pork tacos with like the normal toppings. So like sour cream, cheese, onions, olives, lettuce, like that kind of thing. And for him, I can just make him a cheese quesadilla with the tortillas. And then I thought maybe a side of roasted cauliflower, or even if he's not here for this dinner, like I could always make him that for a lunch. Some other things that I was thinking of making him is like toast with blueberry goat cheese, maybe some pancakes. And then I do wanna make a lemon loaf because um, there's a keto lemon loaf recipe in here and he might really like that and that could be like a dessert. I also have written down like for us, a curry chicken salad um, to make keto pizza and then chicken scallopini, I guess is how you say it. Um, I think it had like mushrooms and capers and stuff and that we would do with like roasted Brussels sprouts. So that's all I meal planned for um, 
this week because then I'm going to have to like figure out what groceries we're getting for when we're at the beach. But tomorrow I will definitely try and show you guys my grocery haul because I know you were really interested in seeing that before. Um, and so, ooh, sunny. I will definitely um, try and show you that as long as I have time before like getting ready and stuff. I was actually thinking like, however comes on, I'm supposed to actually be doing a book discussion tonight, but that's in 20 minutes and I still don't have power and my phone is at 28%. So anyway, if the book discussion doesn't happen, I was thinking of when the power does come on, taking a shower and actually doing the like hair waver and stuff and getting that ready because then that's one thing I don't have to mess with tomorrow because I can just sleep on it. And when I wake up, it's ready to go. So then all I have to do is figure out an outfit and on makeup and then do the cheese board and like put the groceries away and stuff. Oh, guess what came in the mail? Actually in these big boxes and I still didn't Swiffer. I need to Swiffer actually quickly. Um, my little free library is in these boxes, which gosh, the sun is so bright right now. It's like at that point in the in time where it's like literally right there. Yeah. I closed the blinds. That's a good uh, good idea, huh? Charter number 148106. That's my little sign now. So that's cool. We'll be able to look at where mine is then. Just what it looks like with the little free library original model. That's really cool. Look at that. I think this is the, uh, the, the pole that it goes on this size. The power is still not on. I have this little battery powered lamp. It is nine o'clock um, and this is the outside now, sunset. And like, as you can see, none of my neighbors also have power because all their houses are dark. Um, yeah, so we love this. So I think, well, number one, I guess I'll close all the blinds, but I think I'm going to go turn on my car um, and put my phone in my car to charge because I'm at like 7%. And I guess I'll light some candles. What a great night. I think, I guess I'll just read because what else is there to do? And since my lamp is currently working, um, I guess I'll just read with the lamp. Also don't know what to eat. I guess I will just open a can of sardines or smoked oysters or something. Not like I can heat anything up. My grocery order is tomorrow, so my fridge is still empty. I guess there's like cheese and stuff, but that's kind of for uh, tomorrow, but I don't really wanna open my fridge either because I wanna keep all of the cold in there. I do have a deep freezer, so I guess worst case scenario, I could put like the cheese and stuff that's for tomorrow, I could put it in the deep freezer overnight so that way it stays cold. If only Alvin were home, like, <laughs> Normally when I don't have power, like especially at our old house, we lost power a lot. This is actually the longest I've had, I didn't have power here at this new house. Um, but one time Alvin and I lost power for five days and yeah, it was pretty torturous. But at least you have someone there to like talk to you. It's like, <laughs> I'm just literally by myself at home. <sighs> Oh man, and my jaw has been acting up today actually. I haven't had any jaw problems since I got my wisdom teeth out. And today, like my lock jaw is like really hurting like when I open my mouth. So I hope that there is not a problem with it. Okay, so I went and put um, my phone in my car to charge because it officially died. And I realized that I have nori snacks and some of these smoked sausages, like zero sugar, uh, they're the Sims brand. Um, so, i snap on these if they don't hurt my jaw too much. I don't, I don't know what I did to my jaw. I love nori snacks, so good. I guess I should light some candles. There's one here. <laughs> 
So I've been reading 19 Minutes by Jodi Picot. Um, it's 10 o'clock. I'm finally getting to the trial, which I am super excited about. Like it just started. I'm on page 363. They're opening up this trial by like obviously saying like what happened the day of the shooting and i forgot to tell you guys i think but like in the very beginning of this book um it starts out by saying like what you can do within 19 minutes and it gave me goosebumps like when i first was listening to it and i just read it right now like in here the entire spray lasted 19 minutes in the life of peter hewton but the evidence will show that its effects will last forever in 19 minutes you can mow the front lawn color your hair watch a third of a hockey game you can bake scones or get a tooth filled by a dentist you can fold laundry for a family of five or as Peter Hewton knows, in 19 minutes, you can bring the world to a screeching halt. And like every time I read that or like read something of the sort, it like gives me goosebumps because if you think about it, that is just crazy. It's crazy how fast people's lives can change from life to death or whatever it would be. Um, and so I, I do really like that part in this book. Like that, I would say that's one of my favorite like sentences. I don't know if you can see the goosebumps on my arm. I just finished uh, 19 minutes. 7.29, as you can see, I am still without power. I'm kind of afraid of how long I'm gonna be without power for. I am just hoping that when I wake up in the morning, power is on. But I'm going to give 19 minutes five stars. I definitely like the last, like, eighth of the book the best because that was the trial and i just feel like jody writes her trials so well and there was definitely a shocking twist in there and actually a few i would say that i was shocked about and i really loved it like i had i still kind of have goosebumps i had like so many goosebumps when i was reading through the last of like the trial part. And a lot of that is because throughout the book, like you don't fully hear like the details of the shooting and the details of the story, but you do hear it in the trial. And I really, really liked that part. I feel like it made you definitely feel like you were in there in the moment. And especially since you already knew the characters so well because of the whole first section of the book or the, you know, the whole seventh eighths of the book before I got to the trial. That really helped with the storyline because you already knew the characters, knew what was going on, and then you're actually hearing what really happened in the shooting. Really, really loved it. I'm excited to read more by Jodi. I really wanna read Wish You Were Here when I go to the beach. Um, and there's definitely a few others that I am super excited about. And so, so far I have read three Jodi Picot books. Um, I gave the other two four stars and this is my first five star of Jodi. I am really just loving her as an author and I'm glad that uh, people told me to read her because I actually didn't, like I would have never picked up her books, especially just like how, you know, old they look. They don't look like something I would read, but I am so glad because I actually am really enjoying like this very realistic, slightly really good courtroom scenes, twists in it. I mean, it's not a thriller, but it's like real life. I really, really love that. Oh, and the moral dilemmas. Like, those are all things that I love in a book. All right, I am gonna go to bed, I guess, because there's not really anything to do. It's 11.33, and since the electricity isn't on, I actually am going to go throw the cheese that I bought for tomorrow for the winery. I'm gonna throw that in my deep freezer because I'm worried about it staying cold enough. And I rescheduled my Walmart pickup order until tomorrow night because I'm afraid that if I pick it up, what if what if my electricity isn't on in the morning and then I will have all of those groceries to not put anywhere. So I'm gonna head to bed and I hope when I see you tomorrow that my power is working. Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light. I wanna be weightless. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down. 
Could somebody wake me?